I feel like playing Abigail Bellwether, I have watched her grow, but I've also watched myself grow. And I feel like a lot of the times throughout the season, it was life imitating art. So anything she was going through, I was kind of going through at the same time. And I kind of got to work through that through playing her. Some soldiers are heroes because of how bravely they follow orders. I am not one of those soldiers. This is what I have to do. She's such a badass. I don't know if I can say that, but she, she's a badass bellwether. I think that's been my favorite thing to play in channel. It's kind of like when I step into like her BDU shoes or her outfit, I just have this whole presence. I'd say that season one, Abigail was very much about herself. I will not have you holding me back. And she didn't realize that there was no I in team, that she needed to work together to accomplish the things she wanted to do. Now she's come to a point to where she's realized that sometimes you have to sacrifice yourself for others. And I think that's what has made her the leader that she is. Never forget who you are and whose army you fight for. Is that clear, soldiers? I think Abigail has surpassed living up to the Bellwether legacy. I think she's now created her own legacy and she's living in that and living her truth. You know, she's gone past Jim's working. She's created Razor Hail. She's become this catastrophically beautiful powerhouse of a woman. I don't even think she knew she had that in her, but it was destined and here she is. I love the growth between Abigail and Petra because as you see in season one, Petra wouldn't even like hug her daughter. She'll give her like a pat on the shoulder and treat her like a soldier. And now I feel like everything they've gone through together, Petra really realized that I need to value this time with my daughter because I may never see her again. Be careful. We will. I love you, daughter. I love you, mom. What's so special is that me and Kat really do have that mother-daughter relationship and we could play into that. So it's all very genuine and real and the growth between them is, is so beautiful. What? Just a little motherly pride? <laughs> Carry on, soldier. And I feel like the deal has opened that up in her where she can be vulnerable and doesn't have to like hide all of her feelings and suppress them. And I feel like that's also how Tony has been for me. Like when I have bad days on set, he can see it on my face. What is it? This isn't a win, not even close. I'm very grateful and fortunate for that connection that we had from the beginning. He's a great scene partner because you can really feed off of him in the moment. Hey Shelby. Hey Dwight. The Dwight and Shelby little thing. It's really fun and it's a different side for Abigail. Things you say are very romantic in nature. Stop it, you're making me feel shy, Shelby. <laughs> Tony's been great, we love Tony. <laughs> this whole journey, I started out at 19 years old and I'm now 23, so I grew up with the show and I grew with these people and they helped me grow and this show has changed my life and these people have changed my life. Um, to the fans, I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking with us for this long. You guys inspire us each and every day because when it's hard and it does get hard, we're doing this for you. So just thank you so much <laughs> um, for the past three seasons. We love you guys so much and we really appreciate you.